How to align the timing marks correctly on an EA888 engine. Before you start, make sure to study the timing chain replacement procedure for your specific vehicle. Make sure you have all the necessary tools. Pay attention to the crankshaft gear's position. Secure it with the crankshaft pulley bolt and the sleeve from the timing chain replacement kit. Set piston number 1 to the top dead center TDC, and position the camshaft or camshafts in the correct installation position with the timing marks facing upward. Check that the timing marks on the balance shaft gear and intermediate gear are aligned. Install the oil pump chain. Note, there are different versions within the EA888 engine series. In many cases, the oil pump must be removed to replace the chain. Install the balance shaft chain, aligning the gear marks with the chain marks. Install the chain guides and tighten the bolts to 20 newton meters. Install the balance shaft chain tensioner and tighten it to 85 newton meters. Make sure that the balance shaft chain is installed correctly. Install the timing chain. Install the timing chain tensioner and tighten the bolts to 9 newton meters. Install the camshaft locking tools from the kit. The distance between the timing mark on the engine and the intake camshaft gear mark should be 61 to 64 millimeters. Lock the gear according to the specified value. To rotate the camshaft, use an 18 millimeter open-ended spanner. Make sure the gear is locked into the correct position. The distance between the intake and exhaust camshaft gear marks should be 124 to 126 millimeters. Lock the exhaust camshaft gear in position. Check that it is securely fixed in place. Align the marks on the timing chain with the marks on the camshaft gears. Install the timing chain guides and tighten the bolts to 20 newton meters. Remove the locking pin from the tensioner. Remove the camshaft locking tools. Double check that the timing chain has been correctly installed. Mark the camshaft gears and engine block. The whole world of a car parts in your pocket. Download the Autodoc app. Rotate the crankshaft two full turns. Make sure the marks still align. Fit the oil pump chain onto the crankshaft sprocket. Install the oil pump chain tensioner and tighten it to nine newton meters. Remove the locking pin from the tensioner. 
Install the camshaft hub, making sure to lubricate the bearing surfaces beforehand. Tighten the bolts in the specified order. Torque for M6 bolts, 8 Newton meters plus 90 degrees. Torque for M8 bolts, 20 Newton meters plus 90 degrees. Tighten the camshaft bolt to 9 Newton meters. Install the actuator and tighten it to 35 Newton meters using the appropriate tool from the kit. Note, the actuator has a left hand thread. Important, always replace sealing components to prevent oil pressure loss. Prepare the seal surfaces for the front engine covers. Install new rubber seals on the upper timing chain cover. Prepare the lower timing chain cover for installation and apply a silicone sealant. Install the lower cover and tighten the bolts to 8 Newton meters plus 45 degrees. Install the upper timing chain cover and tighten the bolts to 9 Newton meters. Install a new crankshaft seal using the tool provided in the kit. Install the crankshaft pulley, aligning it with the teeth. Tighten the pulley bolt to 150 Newton meters plus 90 degrees. Install the timing hub cover and the dipstick tube. Tighten the bolts to 9 Newton meters. Don't delay a timing chain replacement. It's a simple step that can save your engine from serious trouble. In the next video, we'll take a deep dive into the timing system and show you a complete disassembly and reassembly of the EA888 engine. Don't miss it.